Welcome back. <laughs> Who's laughing already? Someone's laughing. I was in my head. I had it all planned out. Welcome back. Welcome oh back. God. Thank you for joining us for another amazing episode of I Have Notes. We have a very special show planned for you today with a very special guest. But before we do that, let's talk about ExpressVPN. Can I get that uh, that lower third? Because I can never remember the copy. <laughs> RTTV is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Protect your online privacy today at expressvpn.com forward slash RTTV. All right, with that out of the way, let's go to our amazing panel we have today. Let's start with the amazing co-host, Issa Badiola. Look at that necklace. Look at that necklace. <laughs> Who's that too? Is that just like a general die? Just a... I don't know. Maybe it's just like the 2021 mood right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to our 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 next guest, the amazing Aaron Wynn. It's me. Oh, the oh, guest. Oh, oh, oh. Solid Snake, Aaron Wynn. Bum, 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 dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Coming for you. Watch out. And our very special guest with us today, Caden. Very special guest. <laughs> love having you on the show. Love. I just love being around Caden. Anytime I get a chance oh, to, I'm I'm always there. I'm always there. Oh, thank you, Noel. Absolutely, absolutely. How how's everyone been today? I had an amazing day. <laughs> Tell Did us it about it, Let's Kaden. Hear it. Ooh. Uh. So. Uh. <laughs> I woke up. And then they announced some really cool new Final Fantasy VII <laughs> remake oh, stuff, yes. which I have been uh, desperately waiting to hear more information about. Uh, Integrate, which is coming out in a couple weeks, which means oh I shit, really? Get, yeah, I need oh, to get shit, my hands on a oh, PS5 shit. ASAP. Yeah, oh. I, it's, like the the announcements today reminded me how close we were to the release of this, and I'm just like. Oh no, I I need <laughs> I need a PlayStation 5. And it's like originally I was just like, okay, maybe I can wait a little bit uh just to see what the additions were and then they dropped some cast members this morning and I'm just like, oh. well, I can't wait now. Now I have to get it. R- oh. Real quick though, is it is it not available on the on the PS4? Cuz that's No. Oh, no, that's Which all I got. Dumb. Yeah. 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 I can't oh. get a vaccine and I can't get a PS5. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. It was like one of those things. I think once 2021 hit, I, there was like this uh, online joke of like, what are you going to get first, the vaccine or the, or the PS5? And <laughs> Neither at this rate. Neither, yeah, I, I, got the, I got the vaccine. I just need the PS5 and then I'm good. Well, here's Inject the, thing, like, the, the PS5 is, into my veins. I, I still <laughs> haven't beaten the like final fantasy remake on what? ps4 like i, I still remember have. i still remember like actually it's okay so it is april 13th yo is it no it, wait. it's literally been one year since is it? uh uh-huh. yeah. it's not friday the remake came out. it was oh, yeah. today it was today's uh, tuesday yeah. i thought today's today was tuesday. friday for some reason but either no, way it's it's it's, 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 still it's the 13th and i and, and if my memory serves me correctly my uh uh or final fantasy the remake came out on the 10th so just the about March, a year right? Yep. Oh, Mar- yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was April. Oh, it was for April, some for, April for April for uh, us discussing. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. So it's been a whole year, and I've just been staring at the like disc and the actual case because I have a hard time like playing it. Not that it's a bad game. It's just that my schedule. I need to. I need to do what Sam Mitchell does, which he's he's a genius about it, where he will just like block out time like off of work for like a whole week and then just smash through a game. <laughs> I can't, I can't do, do that. I I will do a thing to where I'll play the game over the weekend, not touch it for a whole week, come back the next weekend, and then I'm still trash at the game. Yeah, like, that's you know, me. I'm I'm over here getting <laughs> getting wrecked by like the mutant rats that are still in like the slums, like, and it's like every time I do, I'm like, man, I keep losing to these rats. I'm not having fun anymore. Okay, I feel that makes me feel better about myself. I'm a little bit further than that. Uh, I've been stuck at the um the Hell House battle i'm too stubborn no spoilers i'm I'm too stubborn to uh change the difficulty setting to like easy uh and i just haven't touched it yeah so i'm like one day i'll uh i'll gain the uh inner strength to power through it so i i blitzed through it i i was lucky enough to get an early early copy because (sighs) uh, inside gaming was i was gonna uh, say was was a thing (laughs) at the time so uh, and we were just like, well, who's going to review this uh, this JRPG? And I'm just like, you're really, we're, we're asking ourselves this question? <laughs> we're, we're, asking ourselves, like, um... we're asking ourselves, 
this team here at Inside Gaming, who among us, who chief <laughs> among us would be playing Final Fantasy VII Remake to review it? No, 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 no. Move aside. This one's mine. And <laughs> I, I beat it real Start fast. Elbowing. I didn't I didn't do everything in it. And I still uh, okay. needed to do everything I'm, in that's it. That's what but... I have doing. I'm very much a completionist. Uh, not by choice. It's just like I have the urge to like do all the side missions and oh get no my... i i feel that uh the unfortunate thing is like there's a review schedule it's just like yeah, well, yeah, you, have, yeah. you have seven days it's like <laughs> oh yeah that's right. does anyone so... does anyone do what i do where i literally just walk around like oh yeah i got absolutely. to the slums and i just walk around as if i'm really there and i'm really just kind of <laughs> like like it's like wanna, people watching i think i just want to i think secretly i want to be an npc and I just want to just walk there and then bump into dudes and just go, oh, what was, what's that about? And then you just oh walk God. back and then, you, and then you just walk into a wall and you're stuck at the wall over and over. I do. Most people, most people want to be the legendary hero, Noel. NPC. I want to be the NPC. <laughs> just, That's it. Just make me the passerby. I want to I, I need about, I be the kid I need with about the four dialogue lines tops. And then after that, I just repeat them over and over and over again. And then you have to like, you can't just immediately exit. You have to like hit circle, circle just to get out of all of my text. Like, like <laughs> That's all I it's want. like, oh no, I hit X again, which means now he's talking yep, now again. Now I'm talking again. <laughs> oh, you, come on. You gotta go through the whole thing. Oh, that or I wanna be a cutscene, an unskippable cutscene. That's what <laughs> I wanna be. <laughs> that guarantees that everybody has to hear your voice. Right. Like you are True. a character. You're not just you know, a background NPC. I just wanna I just want people to know I exist. That's it, you know. <laughs> I want you to have to deal with me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's something in my background that's not supposed to be there. Hold on. Because it's hot in well. this room. You're fine, Noel. <laughs> was this the thing that you good. forgot okay. before the show? Oh, God. Oh, no. No. <laughs> the, the, the audience couldn't Broadcast. hear, but there was a, there was a disembodied the voice uh, Tyler of, Stab. Yeah. The, voice, <laughs> the voice of the Shred the Nar God, uh, Tyler Stab. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so who, we, we talked about Final Fantasy. Uh, who who are hmm. the voice actors? So there's Susie Young, uh, Alex Lee, and friend of the family, Damon Mills. It's true. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I guess who gets, so. Who's playing, uh, who, what what did you call them? Caden, before the show started? No, it wasn't what? the the character that Damon's playing. Oh, oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> uh, Damon's character is Weiss the Immaculate, not Weiss the Schnee, but Weiss, Weiss the Immaculate. The Schnee. <laughs> Weiss Schnee. Okay. Not Weiss Look at that beautiful Weiss boy. Yeah, let's that. make that bigger. He, he make it bigger. Be a make he, it bigger. He'd also fit in the Weiss the Schnee family, let's be real. Oh yeah. Right? No, this is oh, this is the there this he is. is the like second cousin. <laughs> that, oh yeah, the one that no one talks about. That's the meme. <laughs> no, no. That's the meme where where it's about not copying a person's work or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> don't Original OC, homework. don't steal. <laughs> that's it. If you're gonna copy my homework, make sure you change a little bit of it. Don't yeah, worry, exactly, bro. Yeah, I got exactly, you. Exactly. Something we but, were talking. Uh, no, go no, go ahead, Kaden. Uh, so so we're we're probably gonna focus a little bit on on Weiss the Immaculate, and I'm gonna say Weiss the Immaculate so people don't know <laughs> know what I'm talking about here. But um, uh, Weiss the Immaculate was in uh, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII and also uh, Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII. Okay. Um, Weiss the Immaculate will be a secret boss in well, this not, game. Not yes. a secret anymore. <laughs> well, you gotta get, you gotta get to the secret. You gotta ah, get to where okay. he is. Him being um, a boss isn't the secret. It's just where he is. No, it's where where you find gotcha. him and where you oh, fight him and how you fight him. Yeah. But uh, he's been in the in the greater Final Fantasy VII canon for a long time. So for people who oh, only I, played the first game, he's just like, we're like, who is this guy? Yeah, I've, never I've literally never before. seen it's this like, man. <laughs> who the fuck is this? Yeah. But I mean, yes, he's, he's cool been around looking, for a while. But... He is like they're they're he's a part of this whole other subsection of people called from Deep Ground, which is a subsection of soldier, which are basically these elite operatives who go around and they do all the missions that, you know, are uh of ill repute, even more so than the usual. Um along and he's on uh, he's usually seen alongside his brother Nero, Nero the Sable, not Nero from Devil May Cry. Cry. (laughs) (laughs) Not to make things even more confusing. So again, not Nero from Devil May Cry, not Weiss the Schnee, but Weiss the Immaculate and Nero the Sable. They're very (laughs) good. I just want to see this family tree of Weiss the Immaculate, Nero, 
throw Dante in there just for shits and giggles. Oh yeah. Listen, oh, listen. I think we've just confirmed that Ruby, Final Fantasy VII, and Devil May Cry same universe. It's the same. Thing. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what a big idea. Let's just drop some like <laughs> lore here, but like obviously not true lore. <laughs> just to, just to, um, obviously, tease the fans. yeah, obviously, wink. So, Wink. something I like, Wink. and and maybe I'm just reaching, but uh, but Brian, if we could pull up that that picture again, the one where we see the full body, he's got the no shirt on, looking all good and everything. Yo, what I, what I really like is that gun blade, and and then and then like, Hayden, you're absolutely correct. Like, I have no idea who this person is because I only played the the PlayStation, you know, Final Fantasy Seven. So in my head, maybe this is a reach, but when I think of gun blades, gun blades to me were introduced in Final Fantasy Eight. Uh, you know, with with Squall and do, do people call him Squall or do they call him Leon? Because I know in like Kingdom Hearts, no, it's Leon. his name is his super, name is Squall. Super, Leon, super, he, he, Squall. Ditches, he ditches Squall, he ditches Squall in Kingdom Hearts because he's just like, no, that was my old life. This is my new life. I'm Leon. <laughs> that was my now. government then, name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like and, I'm throwing it away. It's just like you know what? Fine. In Kingdom Hearts, you're Leon. In Final Fantasy VIII, you're Squall. Yeah, that's good. And what I like is in in Final Fantasy VIII, the the way the gunblade looks versus this gun blade here in Final Fantasy VII with this character, it just looks like the Final Fantasy VIII has more advanced, like almost like technology as if time passed. Because if you go back to that image, it looks like he has like that like Edo period style, like Arquebus yeah. type of situation. Yeah. And he has this like more traditional looking like Katana-y type of sword. So I just, I don't know, maybe I'm reaching, but I thought that was kind of cool to give it that look. And then in one picture, I don't think we can see it. It has like the Shinra logo and Shinra to me were, was always very steampunkish. Like yeah. if I were to look at it, you know, like a stylistically. So I don't know, maybe it was a reach or maybe I'm onto something, who knows? I like this uh, in-depth uh, character analysis. By right, Noel. and and it just popped up because Damon is amazing. I got a chance to work with Damon one time on on Red versus Blue Zero out now on roosterseat.com. Please check it out. All <laughs> and the cool thing is, Damon for me it was like a bucket list situation because he's also the voice of Frieza, and so you know having him voice Diesel, which by the way. One does not voice direct Damon. Damon just kind of does it himself because he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. But what I love is like randomly in our VO sessions, he would just snap into his Frieza voice. And my only response would be, thank you for doing that. That's it. Oh my God. <laughs> like, cause, cause it would come out of nowhere. And in my head, he's like, he, he knows that I want to ask him to do the Frieza voice, <laughs> but I'm just not going to do it. Cause I, I got to pretend to be professional, but he'll just do it. And then I'll just thank him for it. So David, I love that dude. He's a fantastic, I'm su super talented, super excited for his character in Final Fantasy seven remake retrograde intergrade mercury. intergrade intergrade mercury's intergrade. not retrograding right now is no, that, is no. that... <laughs> mercury's not it Mer thankfully mercury's not in that's why i had a good day mercury <laughs> is not in retrograde we had a good day uh, today. yes Final i'll pretend like remake, i know what that third means third grade is that what it's called i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i'm just staring at isa's face and i'm looking at her necklace and i think that necklace is is referring to me now <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. That was. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the uncomfortable silence. I know. Like. I'm like, and then my room is already hot because, by the way, the audience doesn't know, but my AC is out and it's just turned on. But this room is hot, and like now that I have the eyes of Issa upon me, I'm just, <laughs> You're like, just sweating oh, more. Boys. It is. Just, it is. It is super hot. Sweating more. Sweating really that, that, that's just the heat so... of her uh, piercing gaze. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just, just wait. We're, we're wait till we're all back in the office, and you can experience it in real time. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. See, that's the Someday. thing is, I've always like maybe this is a story some people know, but ever ever since I started working at Rooster Teeth, I could feel Issa's Filipino strength. <laughs> like it's like it's like the force because I'm only half Filipino, so you know. I'm I'm kind of like a daywalker situation. I'm not a full <laughs> vampire or anything daywalker. like that. But like walking into the company, I immediately just felt like the pressure. And I was just like, whoa, okay, there's another Filipino here. <laughs> and whoever this person is, their power level is so strong. And then I recognized it was Isa. And ever since then, I would try overly hard to to get Issa to like me 
and I could just tell Issa was like, he's he's trying too hard. So I'm just gonna <laughs> pretend like I don't like it. <laughs> so so you're basically you're the Gohan to Issa's Vegeta's. Hundred like- <laughs> percent. I just want Issa to train me. That's it. That's it. That's it. I just want Issa to train. Me. Noel has expressed explicitly in a number of conversations with me how he wants he wants me to like him, and I'm just like, well, it's it's completely fine. <laughs> you don't and I'm like, I'm like, no, track. no, you 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 need you need to appreciate me. You need no. to recognize me. You need to you need to train me. I need you to train me. The Listen. Saiyans are coming. I need you to train me. Oh my god. Listen, I'm I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I completely agree. Like when I first met Issa, I, when I first met Issa, I was just like. Oh gosh, please like me. <laughs> I will be I will be heartbroken if we're not friends. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's so wholesome. Ooh, ooh. See, my experience with Issa was oh. quite the exact opposite. Cause literally, uh, I think I started uh this was when we were all the uh animation was back at stage five. Uh I showed up to work. Uh I think it was after our uh, Monday all hands meeting, and Issa <laughs> just comes running up to me and is like, Hi, I'm Issa! Oh no. Issa <laughs> has energy. Issa yeah. has energy, okay? No matter what you do, no matter where you go, if you have energy like Issa, you will succeed. Plain the the, the rocks true. around her are like floating in the air and then just like <laughs> bursting. Like that's what it is. Uh, I love Thanks, embarrassing man. Issa though. I love doing that. <laughs> I just want I just want Issa to like show up and just like turn Super Saiyan. It's like now I'll show you my truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Well, absolutely, absolutely. So, what else is in the anime news? What else do we want to talk about? Ooh, ooh. Do we oh, want to talk me... about uh, uh, how was it brought? Okay, all of this was actually brought up today. Like the Final <gasps> yes. Fantasy news. This thing we we're going to talk about. It was... The, so the, perfect the lie yeah because the thing is i'll be honest i didn't prepare for this week's show but the news just <laughs> kind of presented both, itself <laughs> you got lucky you got lucky is what happened it, that's that's exactly it but i think it was uh it was earliest morning was it tyler tyler did, did you bring this up or was it kaden um both. either way live we- <laughs> action <laughs> gundam movie super yeah. excited who wants to start it off who wants to talk about it i i know nothing about that director i know you nothing know- about gundam what? I what? know, I'm sorry. What? I'm How sorry. Could you, How could you do this to I'm me? I'm sorry. Oh, wait, is so, that the... Is that the a, reminder, a reminder for everyone that Caden is a part of another uh, Archie TV stream called, literally called Model Employees. <laughs> we, build gun- we build Gundams. They build Gundams. <laughs> hey, you know, the one time I was on that, I didn't build a Gundam, so... No, sure. you drew you drew May, I which did. was super... I like, oh, Technically. That was like that thumbnail, that thumbnail. You did... Listen, the show is about creating things. This is true. You, well, that's true. The whole point of the show is you create something. We build models because we're not that good at draw good. So, <laughs> we're not that draw good. Uh, so, Tyler but, uh, in chat but, is very excited, by the way. Right? Tyler, Tyler very hype. <laughs> so, Heavy fucking breathing teaser so have poster. They, yes, yes, have they yes. mentioned whether if this was going to be the very first like iteration of Gundam that like everyone just kind of knows and love? Or are they just kind of starting from a... Is it like a new story? Is it is it the same character? I don't think we even really know that far Stab ahead of things. Typing. But it's mm. like Gundam live action movie production has begun. Um... So and and Tyler uh, Tyler's typing. So <laughs> we'll wait for Tyler to type. But Jordan Vogue Roberts is is helming that. Um, you might know uh, uh, Jordan Vogue Roberts. Uh, uh, he did the uh, the actual. This is something that you actually might know. Uh, the Destiny Two live action trailer. Oh really? That's yeah. Cool. Yes. Um, That's dope. He did uh, Kong Skull Island, which was a very fun movie. Oh. Very fun. Uh, movie. It did not mess around with the kaiju fights, which I appreciate. Uh, let's see. He's, he's a written a couple. He's working on the the Metal Gear Solid movie as well. <gasps> so. I want that career. How is this? He's the also is, like he's also he a did... huge fucking nerd. Yeah, <laughs> fucking <laughs> weeb. Just, just wow. Fucking weeb. Goals. Yeah, I want I aspire to be in a school. But that's honestly. the thing. You got a fucking sword? It should go into those individuals' hands. There you know? is. Like it, it deserves to be in a weeb's hands. Like it's anytime true. I see a movie where it's You're gonna right. be like. Okay, perfect example. I'll just throw it out there. Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Hot garbage of a film. So bad that it reverted and it's good. It's that bad. But it's because it went into the hands 
of the undeserving. So I, I respect this. <laughs> the um, undeserving. The undeserving. They turned it. That's my uh, Final Fantasy character sub subtitle name. <laughs> Aaron the undeserving. Aaron the undeserving. <laughs> Why is the immaculate Aaron the undeserving? The undeserving. <laughs> That's a good one. That's really good. That's really good. I period. love that. Like, but I need like. Some, we need immediately need some fan art of Aaron the Undeserving. <laughs> oh no! Immediately, oh, immediately. No, they, yes. no, no, no. <laughs> too late. Too late. I've already willed it into existence. Yes. I have put, put it energy. out into the ether. It exists now. Energy. I hope that this is the beginning of the Mobile Suit Gundam cinematic universe. I would like to throw it out into the universe. Let me direct a G Gundam movie. I oh would my God. love Please. to do it. Oh I, my I'm God. shining fingers everywhere. It's just going to be all over the place. I would, I'm would. i just super excited. Let me ask everyone here, except for Aaron, because Aaron hasn't seen Gundam. Like, You mean like any of the Gundams? Like, Not even by accident? Like, You didn't even trip over a, a, a Gundam or anything like that? <laughs> trip over? You know, like... No, nope, no. Nope. I've seen Gundam it in passing. Everywhere. Uh... I, uh, if you told me anything about it and it was a complete lie, I would believe you. Because yeah. <laughs> what's, that's what's a great way to explain it. Favorite iteration oh, no. of Gundam. Stab just said, "Aaron, we're talking after the show." You, oh you no! Know. I, I'm going. I'm there's being homework sent to the now. Principal's office. <laughs> I do. I do. There's homework now. I'm curious uh, what, what everyone's favorite like iteration of Gundam is for me mine would happen would be like the the first Gundam that I like watched was Gundam Wing so it has a very special place in my heart but G Gundam to me is very fun but what's everyone's favorite what's everyone's favorite guys I have to be in Aaron's camp on this one oh. Oh. what <laughs> I don't think people have figured out that I'm a fucking like sk- I'm a fucking fraud like I know <laughs> are you a Gundam. casual are you a casual? Her favorite Gundam is, is Evangelion. Yes, it's true. the The only mech that I like is the one that is a deconstruction of mech. Oh, <laughs> my, my my favorite. It's my favorite. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Can you recommend me what? Like... Kaden, what should I start with? You want as me to say what to start with? Yes, you as a start newcomer. with G Gundam, All the right. quintessential fun standalone Gundam series. Is that because... the one? Where they're all like international and they're fighting and there's yes. like the Mexican yep. yes. Gundam. There's, okay. Yes. Mexican there, Gundam. There's, there's, listen, okay, okay. I, I talk about it every time on model employees, but there is a windmill Gundam <laughs> that is yes. literally a windmill. <laughs> it is just a windmill. And that's, <laughs> that's it, we never actually see it fight, if I'm not mistaken, but it's just a straight up windmill with legs and a Gundam head. And it's just like, Okay. This because its it. actual it's... job is to create renewable energy. That's like that's, yep. what, that's, that's all it is. It's to but... create renewable energy and then to freeze in Texas because of its <laughs> weak ass infrastructure. That's but... exactly... There he is. <laughs> 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 Tyler. Tyler's putting it in Discord. There it is. There it is. We should. Like... So also, these characters, see how... character uh. designs are awesome in like the wackiest way. There it is. Definitely watch it. Yeah. I, I just imagine this this Gundam as a character is just by nature very awkward. Like it like this Gundam wants to make friends, but then the little windmill, like one of one of the four windmills just like gets right into it, like his face and he's just like, oh, oh sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Or, Dude, it's it's oh just God. Gyro Man from Mega Man. That's all that was. It. <laughs> it's just Gyro Man from Mega Man. Or but, that Gundam has a hard time walking through doors, through Gundam doors. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just very awkward every time it enters the room. Do you think it, like, folds away or something? Do you think it just goes and, like, compacts into the chest that until, would be smart, like, it right? needs to? I mean, yeah, but it probably doesn't. Which, Because <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest, building a, building a giant mech, and again, I've talked about this with Tyler, building a giant mech that w- walks and moves like a person doesn't make any sense. Like logically, it's just it fundamentally is flawed. You know, Metal Gear Solid would like to disagree. <laughs> you, no, Metal Gear Solid. Listen, Metal Gear Rex knew what it was doing. Okay, a bipedal thing that knows how to throw bombs. <laughs> this is exactly what that is. Oh my god. This is, this is just like let's give giant robots lightsabers. Welcome to Gundam. That's true. Oh but my God. seriously, G Gundam is the best because Domon Kashu's energy sells the entire thing. Everybody else is kind of like here or there with like their like their uh, their involvement with the major plot, but Domon Kashu is out there to 
beat ass and make friends. And if he can't make friends with you, he will beat your ass. And he has the the most quotable move in Gundam, period. Which is just, this hand of mine glows with an awesome power. Its burning grip tells me to defeat you. <laughs> Shining figure! It's just, oh, it's so good. Every And it happens every episode. And I'm excited every damn time. It's so good. That was so good. What the fuck? <laughs> it was, that, that was that was really good. Look at that. That is, and then I, and, and I then have so the box set downstairs. If anybody wants to borrow it, you can I would love to <laughs> I'm it to your house and let you borrow it, okay? Also, it's for so anyone good. who is still on the fence about whether or not if they want to watch G Gundam or not, just know that if you thought like the power of friendship to save the day was a thing. With this particular series, the power of love definitely saves the day. Like, oh it is, yeah, it is. Oh. It is not even like a metaphor. It is like literally and figuratively happening for G Gundam. It's so good. I would... They also have a. They also have the Sailor Moon esque Gundam, which is the Nobel Gundam. Oh, yeah. Which she's so. Hold on, I'll. Give it, I'll give like, it. oh yes, yeah, I know yes, that one. Yeah, oh, we'll, I, we'll find it's it. like you know iconic meme meme Gundams. Let's put it that I way. I'm just like, yes, oh. meme, Oh, yes, this one. Okay, that. that's a okay, sexy yeah. looking Gundam. What the fuck? Right? She's, her, her pilot, her pilot. She is kind of out of her mind. <laughs> like in a good way. Oh yeah, no. Like she goes from like she's this like soft, very very kind, very very loving blue haired anime girl. Her name's Allenby, and then. Uh, she goes into berserk mode where she literally kind of like glows pink and her hair changes color into pink. And I will, I will link it. Hold on. <laughs> She's so good. Hold on. I'll get everything up. She so can be your gang, the Gundam. Or your devil. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's there's horrible. Alan B. That's Alan B. Before she does anything. And then, yeah, there's, oh. there's Alan B. After. <laughs> Kaden, I'm so happy that you're able to find these images so quickly. <laughs> I like, love Gundam. I love, I'm, I am not a casual, okay? <laughs> if it's any compensation as well, Aaron, I think um, my SO would also agree in that G Gundam is the first Gundam to, uh, to watch. It's, because it's good to know. If you, yeah. If you can't get into, if you can't get into G Gundam, it's 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 short it's to the point yes it's also all inclusive you don't have to learn about anything oh, else good. where all the other gundams where most of them have something to do with each other if you like g gundam you <clears throat> can go back and you can watch you know uh probably origins is probably the next way to go because that one's a little bit more <laughs> like space fascism is bad and here's <laughs> why. <laughs> but this is this is uh, g gundam is a lot more it's it's tournament arcs and making point? friends Ooh. power of love all yeah. that lovely stuff it's like it's like what's well, like not exactly bite size but it's just easier to like uh it's an appropriate it's, meal it's, size it's, yes it's yes. an appropriate meal size <laughs> that or it could it's be like a it's like a good palate cleanser too because again for me my first gundam was gundam wing because it was on like you know like whenever in the late oh, 90s yeah. when it was toonami and adult swim and all that stuff but i'm not gonna lie watching gundam wing I was too dumb to understand a lot of the politics, you know, because that's what it is. It's yeah. always just like you have after space colony, blah, 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 blah. There's always something they say coup d'etat like a million times. <laughs> and then at, back in 97, I couldn't Google what coup d'etat was. So I had to pull that's up funny. a damn encyclopedia and a dictionary. And I was like, I don't have time for this. You, I don't have time. We for couldn't this. even spell coup d'etat correctly at that age. Exactly. <laughs> they didn't find it. They Could do you say coup d'etat a lot, though. All, no, all the, the like, time. Con, like, it, it's it's the it's the normal Gundam's equivalent of Shining Finger. It's just like <laughs> coup d'état every episode. Like, just... and then you know, and then after watching that, and then telling everyone around that I understood the plot a hundred percent, which I clearly did not. Oh but then God. watching G Gundam, I'm like, ah, this is made this is for it, my yes. lizard brain. This is, <laughs> that's exactly it's right up my alley. It, yeah. It's literally this guy wants to fight this guy. We're in a tournament, and you're from this country. I'm from this country. And everything is very on the nose based off of where your country is at, you know? So it's like, it's such a good palate cleanser. You don't have to think about it. You just shining fingers and it's it's just, you're having a good time. You're having a good time. <laughs> By the I... way, uh, if you want to watch it, it's also on Verve. Ooh. Uh, I think it's on Crunchyroll too. And oh, I, think, I think Amazon has it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they have it up anymore, but they used to. But oh, okay. yeah, it's on Crunchyroll oh, thanks, and Verve Kayla. if anybody wants to get into it. 
I did want to ask, because this is an is- originally stemmed from the fact that we're getting a live action Gundam on Netflix, um, what is, have you guys actually seen like a video game and or anime live action adaptation that you've actually liked? Like it Ooh. was objectively like, or sorry, I guess subjectively <clears throat> very good for you. Who wants to go first? I don't know if I've seen that many live action anime movies. The only one that really comes to mind as being or I thought it was good was the uh, Roroni Kenshin movie. Ooh. I've only seen I've only seen the first one cuz I know there's been some other ones since that The fights are on point. Yeah. They are yeah. so they good. got it down. Yeah. Think, they got the wire was... work down, all that yeah, stuff. Man. For for me, I would say if we're talking strictly video game movie, like video game, adi- video game adaptations, I I really enjoy both iterations of Tomb Raider. Like oh. the, the oh. oh yeah, I haven't got you know, it like, forever. The late the newest one, the one that's a little bit more like down to earth, like, yeah, like, that's like right. a little bit more grounded. Absolutely enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't exactly remember the plot. But I don't think I'm supposed to. I don't think I'm su- it's just like, oh snap, I gotta find a treasure. Oh no, where oh, no. is San Diego? Oh no. <laughs> so it's like I d- I do like that, but even the the older ones from like the early two thousands with uh what's her name? Angelina Jolie. Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Jolie. Yeah. Those were fun. How Super do you forget? fun. Yeah. It's it's hot in this room. <laughs> I'm glistening. You can kind of see it a little bit. So, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Katie. So, so I'm going to give you a couple. One is probably one of the most underrated Hollywood movies of all time, done by the Wachowskis, Speed Racer. Yes! That yes. Is so good. Underrated. So, yes! Yeah. So that's my, that's my, like, if I had to pick an anime, that's the one I'd pick. If I had to pick a video game, it's probably a tie between Sonic and Detective Pikachu. Oh. They're both Ooh, very okay. good. Yeah. But I have a really soft spot for the first Mortal Kombat movie. Ah. Which I'm super hyped for the next one, which yeah. is coming out in a couple yes. days. I'm super oh, excited. Oh, shit. And, uh, and uh, watch it on HBO Max. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I also really liked, uh, despite them not being tr- like 100%, you know, on point, the Silent Hill movies, they got, yeah. the, oh, they yeah. got the atmosphere well enough. Mm-hmm. But combining both of those, combining both of those, if we're talking about anime and video games, then I will say Ace Attorney is so fun. That was my answer, Kaden. I need to watch that. Oh, shit. Is it that good? It's so, fun. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Very so, fun. So here's the thing about the Ace Attorney movie, because this is, that, that, that is 100% Please? my answer. I am, if you guys want, like, my credentials, I have been an Ace Attorney fan since the first DS game Fuck vocalized. Yes. I got Hello. one of the copies before, before it came a sleeper hit, and it didn't have any more, like, copies. Uh, and I was one of those people who waited for years for them to localize two and three. So like original fan right here, let's yeah. go. Um, <laughs> when they announced that they're gonna like make a live action, I was just like, oh, that's interesting. The choice of the director was interesting as well because he also did um, more horror suspense movies before, but he's a very prolific Japanese horror suspense director. Unfortunately, I forget his name. So this was, a really interesting like direction in for his tone and career because it's like wait a live action video game adaptation of all things so the thing about ace attorney the movie is that it seems really grim dark but it is 100 percent i wouldn't say not but then you look at the characters and they're all wearing very obviously gelled wigs to <laughs> match <laughs> The characters, like the character designs from the actual Good. video game. So what's one, what's the fucking point if they don't? What's the fucking point if you don't have those hairstyles, right? <laughs> so one, already you have this like really interesting like dichotomy of like everything's really blue, but the characters are really weird. And then two, it's like this weird like kind of futuristic technology, and that's how they um, uh, that's how they justify some of the interesting court. Uh, court decisions that are court things and systems that happen in the game into live action. Um, But then it has these like really outstanding funny moments that are so kind of like a lot of stuff you see in actual Japanese anime, but then they translate it to live action, which is like that, that works. And it's just as funny. 
And then it's also a really good movie that is about truth. And what does that mean in relation to justice? Oh, it's a and fun this is movie. Deep. This they, is deep. They get <laughs> into like... the heart. They get into the heart of why Ace Attorney is so good. And yep. like, or it's just like a different spin on why Ace Attorney is good. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you should watch Ace Attorney, the live action movie. I'm, I unfortunately don't know how to find it. So well, let's I'm find out. Apple TV. Play. You can watch it on. Oh, uh, what? You can watch it on Apple TV. Ninety nine cents to to rent it. Um, what? Uh, Takashi Miike, by the way, is who you're, Thank you. who you're referring to. Um, Thank you, Kate. Issa, I did the exact same thing. I went to a GameStop during Fanime like 15 years ago. Holy shit. Um, and they had a copy there. And I'm just <gasps> like, they only had a couple copies and because it was like, it wasn't a big deal at the time. I bought it and I did not sleep. That yes. entire convention. <laughs> it was just like, I would go to the con during the day, go back to my hotel room, just play Ace Attorney all night. Oh, yeah. And it was just like, the, the walls in the hotel room were paper thin. So, <laughs> like, people could hear my DS cranked to the max volume, just screaming objection. And at one point during the night, the my my room neighbors were just so into it. <laughs> then when they heard Can objection from my DS, they were they were screaming objection afterwards. Oh! <laughs> I love it. That's I really nice. I miss my nice. conventions. <laughs> Wait, Isa, the- have have y'all seen the um anime adaptation of it? And is it any good? Oh, that's a good question. I have not. Um okay. but it's pretty fun. It, it's it's, it's it, fun. It, okay, cool. It misses some stuff, but it, it's okay. fun. It's fun enough. Nice Let's, let me put it this way. It's definitely Ace Attorney. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's it's definitely so, Ace so for the Attorney. so for the movie, is it like just like you said, Issa, is it like a pretty does it take itself very serious? Like or is it still very like comedic based off of like the source material? Or is it Wow. That's the, the only reason why I ask is like based off of your like description, I was wondering if like the main like lead actor is like holding that wig, that that very crazy wig, but the entire time inside of his head he's just like well, clearly this movie is about the self-introspection of the human condition and really just reflecting upon it. And then he just puts on that wig, that, that ridiculous wig and is like, objection! objection! <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a really interesting question because I think the movie itself like ha- kind of straddles it really like eloquently. It's one of those like, oh, you go and watch a comedy not expecting anything, but then it turns out it's like really heartfelt. Like it actually is hitting like Ooh. all the heartstrings and like making you think really hard because it's I think Miles explained in this way. It's like it 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 makes you vulnerable and open to experiencing it because it's giving you like this happy feeling. Whereas I think it's like it that's what the movie does. It kind of like flips you a little and then it flips you again. And it's such an awesome ride of like doing that. And so ah, entertaining. A so, turnabout, if you a tur- oh, Aaron! <laughs> oh! Aaron, Aaron. You're so smart. <laughs> The undeserving. The we'll, we'll, we'll take that name away. Aaron, that, the undeserving. That name goes away now. Aaron, Aaron the, the before deserving. We, before Aaron we change uh, mm. subjects, <laughs> one, one thing I'd like to bring up is, Caden, when you brought up Speed Racer, the first time I saw that movie, the ending race, I don't know if anyone else besides Caden here has seen it. I, I feel like we've all seen it. Hopefully we've seen it. It's been but a while. that ending of the race and it just visually, I I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but visually when I first saw it, my 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 first thought was, yo, is this what drugs is like? Because <laughs> like it was it was it was like overload. Like he goes through, he like jumps through, and then it swirls and all this other crazy shit. And then like you get this like amazing cacophony of sounds and like visual tapestry and i was just like yo this is clearly what uh acid's like i i think i want some i'll have what he's having <laughs> that's what's called the speed way- racers <laughs> speed <laughs> race. like fucking speed i have that speed please who's got the that way speed? i always the way i always describe that scene is take a couple hot wheels throw them in your dryer take oh a bunch God. of confetti throw it in your dryer <laughs> then turn it on and then don't close the door. Oh. Or, or then you jump into the dryer with it. Like that's what. That's what that oh my god! But that's a good. One. But I saw in the chat. Uh, wait, where is it? Who is it? Who is it? It was. Uh, it was. Uh, Tide Pod Pad Tide brought up Resident <laughs> Evil. 
Oh, uh, wait, are we talking the live action ones or the CGI or the ones? the CG one. Yeah. For me, any of them. I any? think okay. they're all there's, bad. There's a new Resident <laughs> Evil series coming. Oh, is there? Another? Yes. Coming live to action? Netflix. Coming to Netflix. There's live a Netflix. Action? It's a... Uh, Infinite Darkness. Oh, uh, I well, don't... That sounds like CG for it's me. CG. Why does it sound like CG? <laughs> it's, that it's title CG. sounded like CG. It's CG, but I know that they're doing another live action take on it too. Good lord. Ugh. But this, like, this is kind of different, similar to some of the Resident Evil stuff that they've done before with CG stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it's coming soon. I is there a scene where Chris Redfield and some villain... Are, Leon and Claire. Leon and are, Claire. We're just are gonna, we're, oh, it's Leon. It. Leon. I love Leon. Um, but does anyone remember that scene where like it's Chris Redfield and some dude that I don't know because whatever, but they're like fighting with guns <laughs> yes! and stuff, oh, but they're running that. around. It's, it's so, so bad. Funny. It's, it's so good. <sighs> Fighting. You're they're right there. Dancing. How are you missing? Just <laughs> aim but at him. But they're rolling. They're dodge rolling. It was Resident Evil Vendetta, by the way. Um, that you're they're thinking dodge about. rolling. It was, it was uh, oh Glenn versus, I believe it was Glenn versus Chris. Oh uh, my god! On gosh. top of the rooftop where they're all just like taking shots at each other. And then they eventually just like start going out there and just rolling and dodging and rolling and dodging and rolling. Oh my and god. <laughs> I remember Torian showing me that scene way back when we used to work on Death Battle, and I was like, please put that in a Death Battle. <laughs> somehow work that in. I don't know how to do it, but it's like apparently, according to this universe, it's like a video game, right? Like when you play a video game, when you roll, apparently rolling is the faster way to travel. Oh, it, yeah. it felt like this. Yeah, just roll really away funny. and you're going to get away from bullets. I I love that scene, but it blows my mind every time I watch it because it's so ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> but for I me, hope... the live action Resident Evils, I couldn't. I don't like them yeah. at all. I just Milia Jovovich, I think is a fantastic actress, but like the stories, I'm just like, what is? What you is have this? source material. Just this? do the. Just redo the games like shot for shot, and you're good to go. But it's like the directors are like, nah, I'm undeserving. I'm. Undeserving. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh. <sighs> who would you put? Who would you put Chris Redfield in a in a death battle with, Noel? So 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 technically, Chris Redfield, if 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 my my memory serves me correct, <laughs> he he has already been in one. And yes. Was it with uh? Was it with uh? Was it Frank West of uh? uh what is oh, the game? Dead Rising? Dead Rising. Is that what it, it is? Was, I. Was it? That's okay. Hold on, I'm about to I'm about to Google it real quick. I, I should know it, this. It I was no, I'm battle. pretty sure that was Leon versus Frank, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Death battle. Did I out death battle? You know, I <laughs> think you did. Because if I did, for shame. Oh shame. no, hold on, hold on. Noel, I'm Leon, 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 Leon Kennedy versus I'm telling Torian, <laughs> I'm gonna tell Torian right now. Don't tell on me, please don't tell on me. Everybody go at Torian and say that Noel got beaten in oh, Noel oh my the God. undeserving. Here, real Noel quick, real quick. Real, Noel, Noel the undeserving. <laughs> you, what you gotta know though is like, being in death battle, being like a researcher, writer, and for me, researcher, writer, editor, and and sound designer occasionally, it was a blur of knowledge because oh, no. I will say this. I still remember the one that took the biggest toll on me was re me and Sam Mitchell had to research um, uh, Pit from the Icarus games. Oh, versus yeah. Sora from Kingdom Effin Hearts. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. I I researched it for like weeks. I still don't understand Kingdom Hearts like as a Noelle. story. We I to, don't okay. get it. So, <laughs> Noel, don't. we're starting a separate podcast. <laughs> we're starting a separate podcast where I'm going to get people together to explain Kingdom Hearts to you. Huh. I was going to say, because I'm just like, don't, don't, don't do this in front of Caden, because Caden <laughs> will do something about no, this. I, I, <laughs> listen, listen, when you say, oh, I don't know something, but I want to know something, I will teach you. Okay? <laughs> Please. I, I, I still remember sitting there going, wait a minute. So that's his nobody. But oh that's the over. Wait, but no, but then that's the, this. Wait, that's not Xehanort? Wait, how do you. Wait, what is <laughs> happening? And I was so confused. And I was to like, be, all I want to do is make a gummy fair. ship. All I want to do is make a really fun gummy ship, please. A really good gummy ship. Wasn't I just. Uh, 
I just want to stay in Traverse I, Town. It seems very easy going in Traverse Town. That, that's all I want to do is stay there. I learned a lot about the the ins and outs of what happens in death battle, like behind the scenes, mm -hmm. when I worked with Nick. And uh, I'm so happy you brought up the the, the 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 pit and Sora one because then I can say, "Hey, do you remember when Nick voiced Goofy and?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my yes. god! So good. It was so good. I, I, I was so excited to, to hear that. So excited to hear that. <laughs> so funny. So I'm gonna make Aaron happy. How about how about Chris Redfield versus Solid Snake? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh interesting. I'm about that life. I'm about that. See, life. I would say that I I feel like oh, I forgot his fucking name. Uh, what's the other other uh stealth game man? Uh, you talking uh, about uh, Sam Fisher? Sam Fisher Sam versus Fisher, Solid Snake. Yeah. Oh. Sam Fisher versus Solid Snake would be good too. Consider. Well, they well, so, so they already did that a oh, long, shit. long time ago, like oh, yeah, way no, before I think it. I was even in Death Battle. So that's a fun one. And if if memory if if me memory if memory serves me correct, <laughs> I think Chris Savitt is uh is uh playing um Solid Snake. Yep. Solid Snake. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a fun one. That was a fun one to like. I, I, wasn't, I lost I didn't work my on it. shit when I watched that because I'm just like, what? Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> and if memory serves, and if I'm if I'm right about this. The reason he really wanted to do it is because he always wanted to voice Solid Snake, and I mean, that's kind of how y'all got him. That's awesome, uh, right? And wholesome. And now, and, and now we have Aaron Solid Snake with us. Yeah. I don't do the voice. I just do the uh, the mocap for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember that? Was it a TikTok or a Vine or something where the voice actor for Solid Snake actually said, "My ass is too dummy thick." <laughs> Oh, yeah, don't yeah, 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 yes, yes. Good times, uh, good times then. Who, yeah. Didn't, it, did the voice actor for Solid Snake change at one point to it be did. like some Hollywood actor? Yeah, yes. in it, uh, five. Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland, is that yep. it? Did I say that correctly? I, yeah. I don't know, yes. Like, <laughs> Kiefer, <clears throat> Kiefer, let me see. Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer. Kiefer Sounds like a Sutherland. queef. Oh, oh I, knew I, never heard that I knew before. it. I knew you'd do this, Aaron. Weeper. But the original voice got was shoved in a locker. No, Aaron. Queef. I'm gonna go back. In, I'm gonna go back in time, and I'm gonna like beat up your bullies. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, go on. But uh, the the original voice of Solid Snake was David Hayter, yes. who David Hayter. Uh, you all might know as the co-writer for the X Men and X Two films. Yeah, we don't oh, talk about wow. that. Oh wow, impressive Snake. <laughs> X Two, X Two though, in my opinion, one of the top X Men films. I, really? I think X Two. Yeah, I think so. In my opinion, <laughs> I, I think it captures. You wrong. I mean, that's a good. Wow, it, wrong, it, it, but you know, go for it. <laughs> Okay, so okay, well that's fair. So so then I'll say, what about what about the opening scene in the school? Like the way they captured like the rage, the the quote unquote like berserker rage of Wolverine. I thought that was pretty awesome. And then like just the way that they introduced the the different students and mutants for X two, I thought that was pretty good. Like especially for Colossus, I thought that was a fun one. If uh, if you're watching this, feel free to go check it out. I don't know where you can find X two. I don't really know, but it might be <laughs> it's on stream time. somewhere. Probably probably Disney Plus. Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Right, that's actually. it. That's yeah. it. Wait, Caden. Then who, what's what's your preferred X Men movie? My preferred X Men movie. Ooh, Logan. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> like that might be cheating. That might be. That cheating. is cheating. It's way too good. It's, it's, like, it's not even. No, you pick the one that you can't. You that's can't the pick easy the one answer. That's, that's the good. easy answer. I guess the answer is besides Logan, which one sucks the least? Like, like uh, I, guess, I, guess, I guess that's valid. I'm gonna say first class. I love except, first class. except for the scene mm. where they With killed Darwin. Darwin, I the I person who can't be killed. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I'm I was. So mad. I. I did. I couldn't understand that. I couldn't. I remember watching it, so and stupid. at the time of watching First Class, I didn't even know like who Darwin was. Like especially from like the comic, you know, canon. Obviously, undefeatable, un unkillable. To like to Darwin to that is point. such a cool character, and the fact that they're just like fifteen minutes for you. And it's like. Yeah, but it was bitch. so it was so strange too, because even because like Kevin Bacon, like Footloose comes up to him, <laughs> and like 
you know, seven degrees of footloose, Kevin Bacon walks up to him and it's then like, like does his thing of like, I guess just like retaining air. I don't know what he does, but he like literally, and then like whenever he puts it into Darwin's mouth, you can see Darwin changing and evolving. And I'm like, bro, you turned into like magma at some point. You telling me He's Kevin fine. Bacon footloose yeah. is hotter than earth magma? I'm like, no way. This is, this is BS. I was like, go back to saving towns through dance, please. I was like, that's, yeah, that's, that's it. I will say that like the only thing that made Days of Future Past, Apocalypse, and Dark Phoenix uh, good kind of at all was Evan Peters as Quicksilver. Oh, yes. Which, mm. oh, yeah. I think we can all agree that like Evan Peters is the quintessential Quicksilver. Oh, and yeah. we were all slightly disappointed when WandaVision, WandaVision. <laughs> I really, WandaVision. I really like how they uh, approach that his speed scene, you know, when he's like trying to save, uh, uh, you know, Magneto and Charles. Yeah. Why did I say like Eric and Charles? I'm I'm pretending like I know them. And like, but when, but what I really enjoy is when he like does the thing to where he's in, he's in his little speed realm thing, but he's even still changing speeds, you yep. know, like oh, yeah. he's running, running through, but then he stops. And then when he like touches things, he, he like gently taps them a little bit. Cause it's almost kind of like, if I touched you regular, you would explode or, or yep. something <laughs> like that. But then he even still goes even faster. So I thought that was like, I thought his speed scene then, and then when he saves the all the kids in the school, yeah. I forget what movie that is. Really fun, very inventive and, and imaginative. I thought those were really good. He, I'm trying to think. Admittedly, like the Quicksilver parts, I I rewatched um, some of the more recent X Men movies um, recently, and I feel like the Quicksilver scenes were kind of one of the most stand out. And yeah. then the rest of the movies, I or the rest of the movie, it, like whichever like he was in, I was like, oh, this is okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're just saying as a is, rewatch. we need yeah. a Quicksilver movie yeah. with him. Yeah. So it's just mm. and two hours of goodness. T yes. <laughs> TM also trademark. The, trademark. Also, the fact that they were doing they what they played time in a bottle during that first time. Oh yeah. And he went super fast. It's like, like I know the the song's a little like. On the nose, on the but nose, damn yeah. if it isn't perfect. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. They had the I opportunity, a... so. Yeah, if you really shoot your shot, right? Yeah, if you have a, a sin to let this go, you gotta do yeah. it. Gotta do it. Gotta I do it. I think for the most part with the X-Men films, with Logan being the exception, I think all of them have these really cool moments, mm -hmm. but as, as actual, like, entire movies. films yeah they just kind of like they're just like it's just, it's whatever it's me yeah <laughs> i i kind of i kind of enjoyed what was the wolverine one where he's in japan x-men uh, no it's, it was just called uh wolverine it was just called the, wolverine. the, the wolverine, yeah. right? the wolverine yeah the wolverine was this the one that was was this the one that was released before all the cg was done or like it got leaked or was that no that that was x-men origins i think oh, that was okay. x-men oh yeah that was origins wolverine and... gotcha gotcha okay sorry to me wolverine that oh yeah 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 with the with the terrible deadpool with uh which by the way ryan reynolds i i really appreciate he was able to come back and just like undo yeah. all of that stuff and then actually really undo it like in i, I think in oh, deadpool yeah. He does that whole scene like towards the end of the movie where he goes back and goes through those different universes and just like fixes things. Oh yeah, like, yep. oh yeah. Totally forgot as about well that. as <laughs> that's fun. That was very. Cool. So I always, I always appreciate I was... that level of sense of humor to be able to laugh at yourself. Yeah, for sure. I was always disappointed with how how they approached Silver uh, Silver Samurai in the Wolverine. It just kind of <sighs> like like cool fight scene, like neat, but I don't know. He he's supposed to be on par with with logan as far as like technique and skill and mm -hmm. that's supposed to be the thing that like beats him and they're just like put him in a mech and it's just like nah. <laughs> so I, I like the idea though of that one guy that he saves way back during world war yeah. or whatever is the I one that, that is trying to yeah like like i thought that was a a, a good idea but yeah you're absolutely correct I mean, maybe maybe it was cool that there was like kind of a mech ish in uh, it's a it's a robot it's whatever it's a robot <laughs> it's, a, it's, a robot. it's a robot with, with, get with the sword robot blades Shinji. that can Let's get go. really hot it's and robot. like yeah it's, it's so just cool. a robot coming from the people that were like you gotta watch Gundam <laughs> <laughs> you gotta full circle full circle they were they were planting seeds way back when <laughs> oh my god that's really good that's a, oh. man that's a good one. So what else are we going to talk about? We only have a few minutes left. Five minutes left. What? I know. This is, Just having too much fun. 
Someone tell me about this uh, Bell trailer. What is, what is this? What is this about? What is this? Uh, oh, yeah. I, I don't um, know. You say you want to talk about it? Yeah, it's, um, so Mamoru Hosoda, we have mentioned in previous episodes before, real quick, that Mamoru Hosoda is uh, doing a new movie and a new trailer dropped. And basically, this is going to be his uh, retelling of Beauty and the Beast, but with Belle, and, or called Belle, and it is basically, it looks kind of like alter egos on uh, the internet, as he has a common theme Steve. for. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, some Something about internet, um, something about the virtual space and the dichotomy of that and the real world. And the trailer came out. You guys should check it out. Katsuka has it on Twitter. You, if you just look up on YouTube, B-E-L-L-E trailer, something new will pop up. Um, I think anything, the one thing I would want to point out with the trailer is that he is going very actively into 3D, which is yeah. very exciting. Yep. It looks good, too. Yeah. It looks amazing. My pump looking in. It's, uh, he does tend to do the same themes over and over again, um, virtual space, et cetera, et cetera, different identities. But I think this movie, the one thing he probably wanted to accomplish is doing something in a new medium, which is CG for him. So, Mm -hmm. um, that's how I'm viewing the movie. And that is, I'm very excited to see what he does. Yeah. I didn't didn't know it was a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. That's really cool. Or I feel like it's like some kind of like his adaptation of it because yeah. if it's yeah. Bell, it's like it has to do something with Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I... you even see like this beastly like man creature in there, and man it's creature. man. I mean, it's... <laughs> Listen, Hosoda is probably one of my favorite directors of all time. The Girl Who Left Her Time was my favorite movie. Oh, yeah, until Summer Wars came out, and Summer Wars <laughs> oh, yeah. stands stands oh, yeah. firm as my favorite movie. Period, like oh, of yes. all time. And I oh, just yeah. love it so much. So I'm I'm super excited. I can't yeah. wait for this movie. It looks and Hosoda's Hosoda's also probably a furry. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, before before I'm uh, a furry uh, ally. I'm, I applaud. Good for me. Listen, everybody, everybody who says like, well, I'm not a furry. Yes, there's always are. that dot 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 but at the end of but it. But listen, maybe. did you did you like B stars? Did you think B- BNA was? Did you did you enjoy the themes of BNA? <laughs> did you think did you think the Beast version of Beast and Beauty and the Beast was hotter than the man version? Then I hate to break it to you, that's an objective you might truth. Be a furry. That's an objective truth. I don't think anyone's uh, is. I think <laughs> what, whenever Beast turned to human, everyone was like, "Boo Ugh. this man! <laughs> Go back! Bring go him back!" back. Look, look, if you, if you happen to like werewolves better than vampires, yes. you might be a furry. Mm. And you know yeah. what? I mm. do like werewolves better than vampires because oh, they're better. Oh, Kaden. And, are, um, you, are, are you I a do. fan of, uh, um, of Helsing? Oh, yes, of course. Fuck yes. Okay, good. We're, you and me were Wait, the, same the Hugh person. Jackman version? Yes. The, the movie? Yes. It's <laughs> so good. Listen, I listen. love the werewolves. <laughs> The, the first Kate thing. Beckinsale. Oh, <laughs> so I got to I got to announce recently that I'm voicing uh, I'm <gasps> voicing uh, yes! a wolf oh, yeah. boy in in the Titans Bride, and I'm, I'm so finally excited. voicing a furry character, and he's so cool and he's so hot, and I'm just like, damn, this is awesome. <laughs> uh, I just totally so yes, about that. I'm super excited. Wolves beat vampires hands down, <laughs> and you might be a furry. You are a furry. <laughs> You are and then, a furry. And then it's okay to be a furry. It's just really expensive. I think like oh, at the end of the true. day, you just gotta buy a lot of things. Yeah. You gotta like yeah. you gotta replace a lot of things. Especially if you're a werewolf. I feel bad for werewolves because they 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 gotta be going through that yeah, through their but... fits on a on a weekly basis. <laughs> gotta be going through. I... Yeah, but at the same time, there's the aesthetic of just like the flannel shirts and just like the little bit of like the torn jeans and stuff. And it's like there is a nice <laughs> level of like really, really, really cool, like stuff happened in there it's, it's like, hot it's hot uh, it's, Th- that's it listen <laughs> guys it lines up it lines up with the subsection of the it's lgbtqi like, the plus community <laughs> guys we're at the end <laughs> and no, i just i want started. to we've end i want to end this on uh something that tyler stab says in the chat where he goes i'm not a furry but space jam is not an excuse <laughs> oh. you are a furry I'm that sorry. is our wise shirt. words. Wise words. <laughs> that is wise that is our shirt. Okay. Wise words. <laughs> well, th- that's it. I mean, yeah, like that's, that's the it. end of our show. Uh, Kaden, tell us about uh, tell us about stays in, please. 
tomorrow stay zen it's the first thing you're gonna see on rttv and guess who else you'll see on that particular episode the <laughs> lovely aaron win yay <laughs> <laughs> The un- um, I was hoping you were going to say a werewolf. I was like, yes, yes a werewolf. <laughs> werewolf. If you would like to hear more about werewolves, uh, please come tomorrow, <laughs> first thing in the morning, back on RTTV at 11 a.m. Central Time. We'll see you back here then. Until then, we love you very much. Stick around. We got other stuff that's on the website. Go watch Grim Campaign. What's wrong yeah. with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go watch Grim pa- <laughs> Campaign. You have to be a FERT member to do it. But for, honestly, for, yeah. that's what I forgot to say. <laughs> yes. Hey, we <laughs> love our FERT members. For... We love them so much. Join Go us watch in Grim ch- Campaign. We're about to be done, but join us in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> Please become, become a FERT member. Brian's like, finally. Thank, thank you for watching. I have no... It's, it's been me. Like I'm Noel. There's Issa, Aaron, and Kaden. Please watch Stay Zen tomorrow, FERT member. <laughs> Thank you for joining.